Okay, so um, let's go into the office integration. What you have here, in, in it's been completely office enabled now, so that uh, you can print, you can print to files, you can export to Excel, um, and this one here is actually came in just with the mingle, is that you can actually import from Excel, which is fantastic. I was doing that a lot in Morgan Hill for things like uh, journal entries. Um, we even did things like engineering uh, items and bills and things like that. Um, so that's that's very powerful. And you also have the ability to copy and paste the way you do in Word, and that includes things like pictures, graphics, and all. And you can put them into documents, and you can also export. Uh, to say Word document or PDF or whatever you want. This is just a summary of, of how the Office integration or the new features that are there. Uh, you can, when you do the filtering, you can, you can show it um, and you can uh, export to Excel just what's on the screen. Uh, you can also do the 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 header and line data, so this is a big difference from with Bond 5, is that when you export things, you only get the line data, um, and you don't get things like the enumerated values, uh, you don't get the labels, you don't get the, the field definitions, um, and you don't get multiple pages. So what, what would happen is that you'd have to go through page by page and export each page out to a spreadsheet and combine them. Well, now you have the ability to uh, just filter a list and export everything that's on, that's um, that's in your view. For finance, we've got a bunch of export uh, sessions that have been added that are huge. Uh, we've got financial statements that that was put back in um, as of FP5 uh, of LN, and you know you didn't even have them in Bond Five, so no financial statements. Uh, we can also out, output or export finalized transactions, integration transactions, uh, perpetual inventory file. There's just a whole bunch of these that you can that are new in LN. So uh, also, like I said, with the import, the import includes error checking. So what it actually does is. Uh, let's say when you're when you're bringing in a file of journal entries, if you mistyped a ledger account, for example, it would throw throw you up a message and say that ledger account doesn't exist. And then you can actually fix it right there uh, on the fly. So you could just change the ledger account, type in the new one, and then hit the button, um, and up it would go. It, it also obeys all the rules for the DEM. So if, if in the DEM your role is not allowed to update, uh, update that session, then you wouldn't be allowed to uh, modify any data. You wouldn't be allowed to insert any records. Okay. And, and there's also some opportunities so that when you, when you want to reconfigure a screen, you can, you can set it up for import. So, in Morgan Hill, what we did is we uh, set up a new screen, and I think, Daniel, your group did it, um, would, would be to um, reconfigure the screen for revisions so that we could actually set it up and import it in, in Excel. Okay, there's a few more things here. I mentioned the CRM that goes to Outlook back and forth. And you can also output to emails if you want and send those off automatically. And then when you get into projects, then you can you can use uh, Microsoft projects to go back and forth. Uh, but this is the main thing is the standard report options and the the export and import capability for Excel is, is really the main thing. So this is an example of, of journal entries exporting them. Um, and uh, so, so I can send these out, and then I have a template here. So uh, you can see here I've got all the lines and the ledger accounts that I want. And then um, 
what I can do is I can turn it around and I can import it, and then I get this import status. If it went up okay, it will actually appear here. And if there was an error, it would actually be in red here, and it would tell me that, say, uh, this product line doesn't exist.